example, you know, you go to take it out and boom, you know, you rip it out and let's see if we can get it out. There we go. And oh no. So I know this has happened to people before because, well, it just happened to me and it's not the first time it happened to me. And I decided to do a video and kind of show you guys what do I do in these type of situations. So you got your solid state drive. And if you know on these solid state drives and you've messed with them before, the connectors are very delicate and sensitive. I mean, if you put too much pressure, yank it out, the plastic usually breaks, the pins bend and you have a disaster. Well, there is an ideal situation and there is a fix for it that I typically do that has worked fine and might be able to help you. So, you know, you go to take it out and boom, you know, you rip it out and let's see if we can get it out. There we go. And oh no, the plastic broke and this broke. Well, this didn't break, but the plastic break. And now your solid state drive kind of looks like this or has the piece missing or the pens are just kind of out of place. So here's what I do to kind of salvage this and kind of hopefully save the drive. So the first thing that we want to do is you want to make sure that you have the pieces. If you don't have the pieces, it's not the end of the world, but if you do, it kind of helps. So in this case, we broke the little piece that kind of holds it and gives you the correct orientation so you're not reversing the cable as you pop it in. So in this case, we have it right over here. And if you look, our drive, that's the piece that's missing. So now ideally, as long as you don't have the pins broken, you can salvage this. If the pins are broken, then you're going to need to learn how to solder and come up with that. But this is the ideal situation. So the plastic piece is broken, the pins are either bent or cattywampus, however you want to say it, and we need to fix them. So the first thing I'll do is I'll get a little screwdriver over here and I'll carefully, carefully just kind of get them back in place, which these are already in place, luckily it didn't break too bad, and just kind of align them up just to get them. Make sure that they have that gap in between so they're not touching. And a little flathead screwdriver is ideal because it gets in between and kind of helps align the pins. So now that my pins are lined up, the next thing I need to do is take this plastic piece, pop it in the cable right over here, or if you don't have this plastic piece, just kind of hopefully that you can line it up properly and just kind of pop it in. And what this does is, and let's see if we can get this in the camera, it kind of helps align the pins and position them in place. Don't force it, just kind of go nice and easy until it kind of clicks and snaps in. So we're clicked, we're snapped in, we're good to go. Next thing we need to do before you invest any more time in trying to fix this is let's plug it in the computer and let's see if this still works. All right, so now that you have it kind of lying right there, what you want to do is just kind of make sure that it's somewhat secure, the pins are pushed in and that they're not just all out of whack and everything. Let's go ahead, fire up the computer and let's see if my solid state drive still works. So as I can see, the solid state drive still works. We didn't break none of the pins and the pins are not touching. Now, if the pins do touch, they will short each other out. So make sure those pins are gapped properly. They're not touching and we're good. So now that we verified that our solid state drive is working, let's talk about and show you what I do next to kind of salvage this and help save this. So now the first thing you want to do is find a cable that you're willing to sacrifice and or dedicate to the rest of the life of this solid state drive. So I have this cable over here. It's the typical length for most motherboards and everything. And this is the one that's going to be pretty much assigned to it for the life of it. And I'll show you why in just a sec. So we still have our plastic piece, which is still pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put that in just to kind of help, you know, with the pins. The whole point of this is that we need to make sure that the pins stay separate and aligned. If you don't have the plastic piece, it's not the end of the world. This will still work. But the key is just to make sure that your pins are still aligned and you have a little pressure on it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure that the orientation lines up. And like I said, just kind of slide the pins nice and easy until it snaps in like normal. So now this thing is loose and not secure. So what do I do? This is what we do. Take a hot glue gun. And with a hot glue gun, with a hot glue gun, I hold this in place and I just kind of get a little dab right over here get it on the top get it right across over here and these things dry up pretty quick I mean you can use some type of adhesive if you want get it on the back and the whole point is is that you wanna fill this in so it holds it and that way it's not loose and dancing around now another thing too is don't get too much on it because if you get too much on the side over here for the power connector it's not going to fit and then you're going to have to chisel it off start all over again. So let me go ahead let me let this dry and then I'll show you what it looks like. 
So it's kind of dried up, well, cooled off because it's a hot glue gun, but it's cooled off. And our cable's pretty in there, pretty snug. Now, this is not the prettiest, I get it. It's not the pr prettiest. But the whole point of this is to save the drive, keep it secure so that you can use it. So now, another thing that I did miss, if you notice, I have the angled portion over here, which is not the end of the world. The ideal one would be to use two straight ones and not have the angle one, but it's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop this back in our drive, pop this back in our computer right over here. Plug this in and make sure that we didn't go too crazy with the glue. Get our power in. Fire up our computer. As long as I give it power. And let's see if this works. And as you can see, our drive is booted up, it's good, it's secure, and we're good to go. So now, like I said, with this, this cable is kind of married to this drive right now, but it's fine. These things are non-spinning drives, of course, obviously. This is not going to get a lot of rigmarole, and where you place it in the computer, it's not going to be moving, and as long as you're mindful of your cable management, this thing won't come off, and it'll be secure if the computer's being shaken, jumped up and down, and all that good stuff. So I want to share this tip. I've seen a lot of people... Um, have problems with this this has happened to me a bunch of times but anytime it happens this is what I do and I've actually gotten drives for free where this is all I had to do was just kind of straighten out those pins and just use some hot glue gun and it works perfectly fine the hot glue gun seems to be work best in my opinion because primarily is if I ever have to change this cable or if this cable goes bad we could pull it out clean up the glue a lot easier compared to traditional glue and we could still reuse it so hope this helps hope you don't run into this problem if you like this video definitely like Comment down below, subscribe if you're not, and as always, we'll see what we come up with next.